reorganizing the entire business, firing and rehiring personnel getting every verified account to pay $8 per month for their blue check is the biggest new project. Twitter is extremely influential, experts will tell you, and it does say something about the world we live in, for better or worse. The day has finally arrived after an intensive six months of Elon Musk vacillating over his decision to take over Twitter, then changing his mind about his decisions, then once more signing and withdrawing from the contract. Welcome back to another exciting video from Informative Scoop. Today's video is about world leaders just send Elon Musk terrifying warning. Before we start the video, please like subscribe and press the bell icon. On October 28th, the SpaceX founder eventually informally purchased the Bluebird for $44 billion. Thanks to the ability to use social media as a tool, we live in a time of grandeur. The platforms have come to stand for a sense of liberation, giving voice to the voiceless and enabling people to fly high and free. But how far can one fly when the Bluebird, the poster child for free speech on social media, is itself? Observe the video through to the very end. As we walk you through Elon Musk's experience with Twitter, what next goals does he have for the platform? What is Biden's opinion on the Bluebird? Watch today's video to catch up on all of this and more. It's The social media platform has become less about protection and has started leaning more in the direction of defacing anyone who thinks even the slightest bit different from the company's value system. This ranges from world leaders like Trump, for the risk of inciting violence, to psychologists like Jordan Peterson, who bluntly pointed out facts about actor Elliot Page. This is a good example of how to run a cult but not how to manage social media. However, there was some optimism for Twitter when word spread that multi-billionaire Elon Musk, owner of Tesla, was considering buying the Bluebird. Elon Musk's choice to acquire Twitter has changed every other week over the past six months, making it a roller coaster of a trip. It all began in April of this year when Twitter agreed to Elon's offer to buy the business and turn it into a private company. However, after doing more research, the billionaires began to have second thoughts about the validity of the end spam accounts that were already there. Elon changed his mind and cancelled the arrangement with the social media site since there were a lot more spam accounts than he had anticipated. The Tesla owner, though, wasn't going to go away from Twitter so quickly. Twitter and Elon Musk's attorneys are argued back and forth in the Delaware Courts of Chancery to decide the fate of the arrangement after the firm attempted to sue the billionaire for breaching his contractual responsibilities to Twitter and its shareholders. Elon Musk had until October 28 to close the deal, according to the verdict. What happened next could only be described as a comedy movie's plot. Elon responded with what might be viewed as the most anticlimactic response and just withdrew his offer without retaliation after his final choice to desire to take over social media caused Twitter warriors and employees to have a full-blown meltdown. However, on October 28th, following a few more talks, the much-anticipated announcement was eventually made public. Finally, the Bluebird is the takeover of Twitter by Musk. Everybody is content. Isn't everything perfect? Not quite accurate. Elon didn't waste any time after taking over as Twitter's new CEO and simultaneously removed both the chairman of the season committee and the CEO CFO. The allegations that Elon had banned his ex-girlfriend from Twitter, however, ended up being more newsworthy than the core structure of Twitter changing. But the king didn't stop there. Elon Musk may have been the person who first put humans on another planet, but one of his career high points will always be the footage of him entering Twitter's offices with the words let that sink in. But the narrative has a happy conclusion now that Elon is in charge of Twitter, right? In general, yes, but there is a catch. Users can acquire a blue check mark using the new Twitter algorithm through an $8 verification service. We are already, just like businesses, politicians, and celebrities. The upgrade now provides users the choice to publish lengthier movies and half as many adverts. The censorship game is, nevertheless, still somewhat present. In a statement to users, Musk told them that the social messaging services wouldn't be a no-consequences stage where anything and anything could be spoken. Musk reaffirmed to advertisers that censorship, like any social media platform, shall stay crucial for Twitter, but it would be scaled down. The fact that Musk recognizes the value of free expression is one of the primaries, and possibly the only, reasons he bought Twitter, even if it wasn't the best investment for his business. Sadly, there is no common digital platform where a wide range of opinions and topics can be discussed healthily without resorting to violence. This undermines the power of educating the next generation. This is dangerous since it just serves to further segregate individuals into ideologies on the left or right that are incapable of even hearing the other side. Both parties always feel better following a constructive argument, and in some cases, their initial viewpoints are completely changed from what they were before. But how does this widespread freedom of speech impact nations? I guess far more than you can. Ironically, some of the world's most democratic nations are also some of the ones that are struggling the hardest with Twitter's recent policy changes. The Bluebird was recently advised by the EU commissioner to fly its own rules, but that wasn't all. Additionally, Britain had reminded Musk that the EU's own content management rules would limit his ability to express himself freely on Twitter. However, the system acknowledged that there was no disagreement over Twitter's strategy when inquiries about this were made to Breton when they were in Texas in May. 
This only makes things worse since people like Elon Musk are working very hard to provide platforms with more freedom of speech so that ideas and opinions can finally stretch their wings and soar. Politicians, on the other hand, are plucking their feathers and submitting their platforms to their laws, therefore rendering them useless. The EU's new digital service acts provide countries additional authority to enact regulations governing the moderation of tech businesses, to determine when they can remove illegal information, as well as what would happen if Twitter refuses to comply. Additionally, they could be fined up to 6% of their annual revenue. Let us remind you that this sum is not insignificant considering that Twitter is a multi-billion dollar corporation. However, that is not the case. Accounts that do not adhere to EU legislation to the letter may also be banned for merely requesting a basic constitutional right. These inquiries do lead to one. Why exactly is the threat to something as fundamental as free speech on a social media platform something that national leaders from Biden to Xi Jinping are equally concerned about? After Elon Musk acquired Twitter for what we now perceive to be a tremendous loss of $44 billion, the US government considered conducting a national security review. The Biden administration's proposal could even result in the contract being scrapped if everything goes as planned. Another excellent illustration of a fascist regime cooperating. Even if they exist, people's constitutional rights to free expression are non-existent thanks to companies. However, China is also dissatisfied with these modifications to Twitter, which is not surprising given that China is a democratic nation. However, it is quite disturbing how this issue is being handled there, to ensure that the electricity stays on the government line. Towing is being done for every single important CCP station and major Chinese companies. This should serve as a wake-up message to the general population about the outrageous human rights breaches the nation is enforcing. It's, but more than just China's towing disturbs us. One of Tesla's largest plants is located in China, which also accounts for 26% of its sales. Thus, the billionaire might suffer significant losses in battle against such a massive superpower. Nevertheless, the billionaire remains our only hope because he is the only one fighting for all of our fundamental rights. The future for a lot Elon Musk currently seems to be in a very precarious position with the Tesla stocks dropping to 50 and Elon Musk having paid roughly twice as much for Twitter as it is currently worth. Perhaps history will repeat itself, as it did in 2008 when Tesla came dangerously close to going bankrupt. Even though content moderators and other members of Twitter's trust and safety team are anticipating a huge detox and one of the biggest job cuts ever, employees are worried about what this could imply for their futures and the possibilities of this happening, at least for now, do appear very remote. Additionally, there have been discussions about reactivating Donald Trump's account, which has been a significant barrier to spending money. Yes, we are all aware of Trump's animosity toward Twitter. The head of state vowed never to leave the podium and come back. He currently runs his own social media website, The Social Truth. But let's not lose sight of the fact that Trump, despite being a politician, is first and foremost a businessman, and rejoining Twitter may not be the best choice for the politician's career. Therefore, it may be quite improbable to see Trump return to Twitter. The new techniques adopted by Twitter may also drive away those of its current users who lean more liberally or more to the right on the political spectrum. Due to the significant shift in its target audience, this could drive away major household brands and advertisers, which would be extremely bad news for Musk. Is this conflict between nations and their leaders indeed a preventative measure to safeguard humanity, or is it instead part of a secret greater propaganda campaign? Thanks for watching the video. If you enjoyed it, please like, share, and subscribe to our channel for more exciting content.